In this video, I will show you how to sell courses on Shopify. So I'll show you how you can set it up and the specific app that I recommend to use for this. Now, first of all, if you have not yet created your Shopify account, you can do so through the link down in the description and you will get access to a free trial along with your first month for only one euro or dollar or pound. So if you want to claim that, just click on the link in the description, enter your email address here and click start free trial. You don't even need to add any payment details, it will only take a few seconds. So after setting up your account, what you want to go and do is here in the search bar, click on apps, and then here type in LDT course. Now it won't show up yet, you just want to click right here, search LDT course in Shopify app store, and then you will see it right here. So it's the LDT online courses app, and you will see that's five star rating, and there is a free plan available, which is great. So just go and click on install right here. So then confirm by clicking on install again. So now that you have downloaded the app, it's really easy. Just going to click on create your first course right there. Then give your course a name. Then select a category for your course. Now the display position, I recommend just keeping that at zero. Then here write out a short description for your course. So what will people learn? Then here choose the access and visibility. So is it free and public for everyone? Is it public for any customer? Is it paid and private? So there's a login required. Only enrolled customers can access the content and it shows on a locked tab for non-enrolled customers. Or is it paid and secret? So only enrolled members can access and it is not visible on a locked tab for non-enrolled customers or internal. So then it is not visible on the My Courses page. I'll do paid and private. And now here you want to add it to a product. So click Add Product. Now, for example, I'll take the coffee one here and click on Add. Now I just want to go and set up a product right here in the product section for this so that you can then add it to that. Now here you can also sell your courses through customer tags. So a customer will be enrolled as a member when they have at least one tag. Now I'm not going to do this. Then here you can choose whether or not you want to send a welcome email. I'm going to keep that on. And you can choose whether you want to send a completion certificate. Now you can also allow your student to add notes in the course. So I'll just keep that on. And then just go and click on save in the top right. So now we have saved this course and now we can actually get started with creating it. So here click on add section or module. So give it a name. Now this one is about chess. So for example, I'll name this one openings. Then here for the access and visibility, I'm just going to put it in draft mode right now and then click on save. Now here you can actually start adding lessons. So click add lesson, give it a name. So for example, I could name this one an opening in chess, then write a short description and then choose the visibility again. So I'll put this one in draft as well. And then here the important part, you want to add the content. So click add content. Now you can choose any of these content types. So text block, HTML, a video, audio, downloadable file, a quiz, Zoom, upsell products, whatever you want to do. For example, I'll select embed video and click add. So then here you can paste a link by Shopify, YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, or Loom. For example, I will upload a YouTube link Although you can also click add content and then select whichever one you want. For example, embed video, and then you can also select a file from your device. But for example, I'll take this YouTube one. And then of course I can also add more files if I want. And then I have created this lesson. Now, once you're done here, just click on save. Now you can add more lessons by just clicking on add lesson, giving it a name and doing this again. Now you can also add more sections or modules by clicking on this one right here. So for example, this could be mid game and then I'll put it in draft as well. And then you will see now openings right now has one lesson. Mid game has no lessons yet, but this way you can just build out your course. And if you click preview, you will actually see what it will look like for a person that has purchased it. So they will see chess 101. It was the name of the course. Then they will see the short description, their progress. And then here you can see the course contents so of the openings and mid game. Then if they click on the drop down, they can actually follow every single one. Now this one right here is a YouTube video. I think that really uploading a video probably looks more professional, but you can do what you want. And then they can just go to play. And because I enabled the notes, they will now be able to write a comment and you will also be able to see that. So we have now set up this course and now what you can also do is just go back here 
And then here you can see it. Now, by the way, I also recommend to upload an image right there. So upload an image that has something to do with what your course is about. And the students will be able to see that as well. Now here in the student section, you can see every single student that has bought this. You can also add students manually by entering their email, first name and last name, or you can import them from somewhere else. Now you also have files right here, where you can go to manage all your files and in the free plan, you can upload up to one gigabyte. Then here in your settings, you can just go through this and see if there's anything you want to change. For example, you can customize the email message. You can add your email logo. You can add a watermark in the video player so that it cannot be copied. You can choose the thank you order status page, the customer account page. So you can just go through all of this and see if there's anything you would like to change. Now in the pricing here, you can actually choose to upgrade to one of their paid plans as well. For example, if you need 30 gigabytes of upload storage instead of one, then you can get the starter plan at $9.99 per month with unlimited enrollment, the welcome email and templates and all of this. Although right now I am using the free plan and you also get the welcome email and the complete certificate and custom. So now when I go to the product page for this specific product, which was, I think it was the coffee one right here. So if I go to preview it, you will see that people cannot yet access it. Now this right here is something I set up earlier, but usually they can just go and click on buy now, and then they will be able to buy that course and they will then get access to that course in that specific page. And they will also get an email. Now, what I recommend you to do is to just set up a discount for yourself. So go to discounts, click create discount. And then here just go discount specific products and then here create a discount code for yourself and then make it 100% discount so you can just get it for free then and then click save and then just going to click on save and now you can use this discount code yourself to go and create a test order for your product to see if everything works correctly and if it does you can then start selling it to other people as well so now you know how you can sell courses on shopify Again, if you want to get started with Shopify for free and you want to get this deal right here, then go and click on the link down in the description. And if this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.